as a kid and that young, you know, oh, okay, well, my friend gave me some candy, so it's okay for me to eat it. You know, th they don't know what's, you know, what's really going on or what type of candy it is. Her daughter was among 14 kids sickened inside a Cleveland elementary school. The culprit? Police say gummy candies that contain marijuana. Now that mother wants justice. Five on your side investigator Scott Knoll live outside anti gradina school to explain. Investigators say a nine-year-old boy brought those gummies here to school yesterday, then passed them out to other students, including that mom's kindergartner. It's the call from school Jasmine Washington never imagined. And I was frantic, panicking, you know, upset, in tears, because I didn't know what to think. Even with the rainbow of flashing lights outside Anton Gradina, she never guessed she would go inside and learn her five-year-old daughter ate suspected marijuana disguised in gummy candies shared by another student. As a parent, something like that, that's, that's serious to me because that's something I don't, I don't smoke, I don't do any of those type of things around my children. And for her to get a hold of something like that, as far as candy go, you know, that, that's, that's a big no. According to a police report, the nine-year-old aunt gave the boy the gummies Sunday during a party at the family's apartment. Investigators say the boy told them his aunt did it because she wasn't in her right mind. Police say the boy's mom saw her son and two other kids with the candy, but didn't take them away. According to the report, she told the kids not to touch the remaining gummies, but the boy did anyway. A school staffer found the bag Monday, read it, and police say found it contained drugs. Washington says there's no excuse for what happened. You can't apologize for something like that that was inside of your household that your children brought from home and took to school and affected other children. No. It's not. I'm sorry. Police arrested the boy's mom, but haven't charged her yet. No one answered the door at the family's apartment this afternoon. Investigators say the nine year old who brought the gummies is the only one that's tested positive for pot so far. But this mother hopes investigators send a message to other parents that it's time for grown ups to act like it. For parents out there, you know, who does have those type of things in the household, candy, edibles, marijuana, guns, those type of things need to be locked up and put up where children cannot, when I say cannot, cannot get a hold of it to harm another child or anyone for that matter. The nine-year-old and five other kids living in the apartment with him have been placed in emergency custody of the county's Department of Children and Family Services. A spokeswoman says that was because of concerns for the kids' safety. Reporting live on the east side, I'm five on your side investigator Scott Knoll.